Welcome to Blood Bath & Beyond. Today I'll be taking a look at Analog Nightmares, the shot on video horror films of 1982 through 1995 by Richard Mogg. Now this is a little bit different because I generally don't read and this isn't like a paid promotion or anything, just so you guys are aware. I'm just a huge fan of shot on video films. It's basically the reason why we even started this. Uh, we can attribute that to not one that's made through 1995, but Massacre Up North, which is a Canadian shot on video film that me, Trav, and our buddy Andy would watch religiously alongside stuff like Donald Farmer's Cannibal Hookers, Wood Chipper Massacre, a bunch of these shot on video films that just got us into horror and we would watch them every day after high school. And so Richard Mogg, who is a director, who also makes shot on video films and low budget indie films. Probably you've seen us do reviews of Bigfoot Ate My Boyfriend, Massage Parlor of Death, and Easter Bunny Bloodbath. What this book is, is actually basically a breakdown of how shot on video came to be. Basically, if you're not familiar with shot on video, it's just as it says, these are films that were shot on video as opposed to film before the digital age. What makes shot on video really cool is it gave people an opportunity to pick up a camcorder, go outside, and shoot whatever they wanted to without the restrictions of some kind of big corporate entity kind of saying, hey, you can't show that, you can't do this. You're just making VHS tapes and stores would pick them up. And this catalogs basically all of the feature films from 1982 through 1995 that are all shot on video. Well, there's a little introduction explaining how mom and pop shops would start to stock shot on video films. And it's really cool to see how it kind of evolved indie filmmaking and got a lot of people into the filmmaking world that continue to make films today. For example, one that we actually often revisit is Donald Farmer. He started off doing shot on video films. Now he's doing stuff like Shark Exorcist and Chainsaw Cheerleaders, which we reviewed. He's doing a remake of Cannibal Hookers, so we'll definitely be doing a review of the original Cannibal Hookers and hopefully the remake. Even when I don't like the movies, they're still enjoyable to watch with some friends and just see the appreciation in shot on video because they're not doing it for money. There's no money in this, basically. It was do it because you love it and you can. So after doing a bunch of research, Richard Mogg basically cataloged all the shot on video films from 1982 to 1995 and did many reviews on them. So there's reviews on everything. He's got pictures from the films. He highlights key things. So maybe if he knows any trivia on the film, he includes that. It has the running time, the director, who it's starring, the synopsis, of course. And if there's any like notable nudity or, or notable kill scenes, then that's also included here. And he does this for basically all of them, starting with a lengthy chapter three, all on the very first shot on video film, Boarding House from 1982. And to break up the years, we have notable people from specific time periods. So we have Mark Polanya, Doug Stone, Donald Farmer, Tim Boggs, Andrea Adams, Tim Ritter, Ron Bonk, Todd Jason Cook, Eric Stans, just a lot of different people. And they all have some pretty good insight into how filmmaking was back in the day. Some are longer than others, but they all share incredible details on their journey as filmmakers. This is just great flipping through and it's now my coffee table book because it's something you can pick up, just flip through and find a new movie that you might wanna try and find. Fatal Images, Heavy Metal Massacre, and just read about it, see if it fits your style and you know go to a convention and see if you can find a dvdr of it that's usually what i pick up it's just these dvdrs of movies that were vhs transfers to dvd that you can't find anymore for example like picking up elves or spookies obviously they're not all shot on video but it's movies that were hard to find and that's kind of the fun in like the shot on video era you know <laughs> is going through all the tape racks and finding things that you didn't know it was gonna be on these tapes. And you'd look on the back and you'd hope that this was kind of representative of what you were gonna find. Like, I remember me and Trav and Andy when we got Cannibal Hookers for the first time, not one of the pictures that was on the back was what was on the tape. It was hilarious, it was disappointing, 
but we had a fun time watching it while hating it at the same time. And a lot of these movies were like that back in the day. You know, even Black Devil Doll, that was a game changer where things became super wacky. Stuff like Cannibal Camp Out. Look what we have here. That sure is a lot of meat. And Blood Lake. You're not for me. Well, I still try and collect as many as I can when I can. When I recently pick up, oh, the refrigerator, which is just a fridge that eats people. You know, that's the kind of stuff that I really enjoy and the reason why we started this in the first place because we liked the mystery of finding these hidden gems. I know I've talked about this kind of stuff before, but this is really nostalgic for me because these are the video stores that I spent a lot of time at from the age of 10. We'd go to Video 99, which is only a block away from my house. And then as I grew up, I could, I could find new video stores that I could actually travel to. So like, Hollywood video and star video and these were just mind-blowing to me and this is when I was like 14 years old or so and this is when me and my friends would like religiously watch these things obviously they weren't all gonna be shot on video but that was kind of the cool mystery of it all just flipping through the tapes you know looking at a cool cover and saying hey this is probably not representative of what's actually gonna be on the tape but I'll take it. This is just a really cool book and I would highly recommend it if you're into shot on video and you want to learn more about them or you just want to have basically an index of all of them. That's not just a list on Wikipedia. Uh, this covers a, like 260 different films that are all shot on video. Richard Mogg writes like how you're going to want to read. It's not it's not complicated, it's very straightforward. It's easy to follow and it's filled with nostalgia because he's sharing his stories and his love and passion for shot on video and getting into filmmaking. So I would highly, highly recommend this. You can check it out on Amazon. Links are in the description. What is your favorite shot on video film? What is the one that you remember watching back in the day? Or what was your most prized shot on video film experience? Let me know in the comments like this video, and if it's your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, stay updated with everything, bloodbath, and beyond.